Hey, it's the fish guy. Education is one of the keys to simplicity in aquarium ownership. So today we're here for another reviews and how to's simplifying aquarium ownership for you. Hey, I'm Dan and today we're going to talk about a really cool aquarium tool. This guy here is a Mahano wand and it is a lifesaver in aquariums. It can be used to manage a lot of pests like Mahano anemones, Aptasia, even pest corals like Xenia and Pallies. Even in a healthy tank, these pest animals can show up. Um, if you're ever bringing in things that are wild caught, such as corals or live rock, these pests show up as hitchhikers oftentimes, even as little tiny babies that you might not see at first. If you let them get out of hand, they can really take over an aquarium and damage the reef overall. So it's really important to have a tool like this available if you ever do have these pests so that you can take care of them. So how this actually works is a really interesting concept. Even though you have to plug this in, you're not actually electrocuting anything in the tank. It works on the idea that when a charge is run through water, that hydrogen gas is formed. And the hydrogen gas is actually uh, light, more lightweight and it expands so it's larger than the molecules around it. So when you charge this guy up and you press it against an anemone, um, you are actually causing the water inside the anemone to turn into hydrogen gas and it literally deteriorates the flesh of the animal. So let's go give it a shot. When you're using this, you want to remove the protective rubber cap, and then there is a delicate needle at the end of it. Um, you want to make sure that you're not jamming that too hard against rocks or anything, just so you take care of it well. The whole stick can go into the water, um, even past the wire, you just can't put the button into the water. So you hold the button, you'll see that gas starting to form, push it right up against the anemone. Sometimes pieces of the flesh will actually rise up to the top as they disintegrate and you can actually scoop those out with a net to remove them permanently from your tank. You want to make sure you get all of the flesh too because a lot of nuisance anemones um, can actually bud from pieces of their flesh that have just fallen off and go to a new spot. So you want to make sure that you're getting every bit of it and that it all turns white and then you really know that you've defeated it. So while there is no risk to harming your fish while you have this running, if you were to touch corals um, or other invertebrates or something with the tip itself while you have it um, on and running, then that could potentially damage them, so you just want to be careful with that. Um, you might as well just leave your finger off the button when you're not actually pressed up against a nuisance of anemone. Another thing is you don't want to run this too long in your tank um, in a short period of time. so. There's uh, some guidelines in the box when you read it, but since it's producing so much gas, you're gonna wanna let some of that gas out after you've used it for a bit, and then come back to it if you still have to get more anemones. When you're all done using the tool, you definitely wanna make sure to clean it. So since this tip is metal up front, salt water will very quickly uh, corrode that. So when you're all set, you wanna actually soak it in fresh water for a little while. Give it a good swish around and leave it in there for a few minutes. Um, when you're done, dry it off really well. Being sure to treat the needle with care so that you don't damage it or bend it. And then just for extra protection, you can take the rubber cap and slip it back on. So in conclusion, the Mahana wand is awesome and something that every serious reef keeper probably should have on hand. If you want to learn more about taking care of aquariums simply, then check out our YouTube page at Fish Guy TV. Check out our YouTube channel at YouTube backslash Fish Guy TV. Give us a call at 877-FISH-TALK or drop us a line at support at somethingfishyinc.com. We look forward to connecting with you.